Welcome to Zen and the Art of Motorhome Cooking. Uh, my name's Matthew De Silva. Nearly 20 years ago when I was a young chappie, I went to the United States for the first time and my mind was blown. Uh, I went to New York City and it wasn't the ridiculously big skyscrapers or the dark canyons between them. It wasn't that everywhere I walked felt like a, a film set. It wasn't the cool cars or the jazz bars. What really blew my mind was that you could get pancakes every day and in some places all day long. Now I remember thinking at the time did nobody tell the Americans that you're supposed to only have pancakes on pancake day? Now when I was a kid growing up in England we would only have pancakes one day a year on Shrove Tuesday. Like most kids I grew up loving pancakes but it just never occurred to anybody to make them more often. So I loved the American model of having pancakes every day it was just amazing. The only thing wrong with that model of course is that American pancakes are these big thick fluffy things which to me are about as appealing as a deep crust pizza. Not very appealing. I like the idea of pancakes being a ceremonial thing. I just don't want to wait all year to have a pancake. So we have pancake day every week on a Saturday and the pancakes we make uh, are more like the pancakes I grew up with. Now, I grew up on the south coast of England, just opposite France, so our pancakes are a lot thinner, much more like a crepe. Now normally I would prepare in one bowl the dry ingredients and in another bowl the wet ingredients when making a pancake batter. But because this is Zen and the art of motorhome cooking, we don't really want to dirty up too many bowls because it's a waste of water and time having to clean them all up. So we're just going to make it in one bowl. Now I can do this by myself and you could do it by yourself at home. However, it's much better if you make pancakes with a willing helper. Okay, so my willing helper is Gabriel. You gonna say hello? Hello. Gabe really likes cooking, don't you Gabe? Uh, yes. Okay. okay, and you're gonna help me. So first thing, we're going to do. Now Gabe could make a great chef one day. He has an amazing nose. So he can smell if I've been eating chocolate from about 30 feet, would you say? Yeah. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is put about half a teaspoon of salt in with the four cups of flour. So I have four cups of flour in this bowl. And can we put the salt in for me, please? Okay. And next, we're going to put in about one of these dessert spoons, or I think um, Stacy calls this a, a tablespoon. I would call it a dessert spoon in England. So this size spoon full of baking powder. You're going to drop that in for me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Pop that down there. We spill, uh, uh, we spill. Oh, it's okay. We can. That's a good thing about dry stuff. We can just blow away. Okay, now. What we need to do is mix that in. Could you mix it in for me, please, Gabriel? Yeah. Yes. There you go. Excellent job. Okay. When that's mixed, we start to add our wet ingredients. We're going to crack our eggs. So, you want at least five eggs if you're making pancakes. Okay. It feels a little bit of eggs. That's okay, son. Once our eggs are in here, we're going to take some milk. Now I'm going to put around a quarter of a gallon to begin with. And then, this is why I need my helper again. Gabe, can you hold this spoon? Yes. Just over the top like that, please. Excellent. So we'll get some oil. And we need one about two spoonfuls of oil. Do the oil first and the honey second so the honey doesn't stick to the spoon. Ready Gabe? Yep. So whatever you put in oil you put in in honey. One, two, did we do two or three? Two. Two, okay. So no more honey? Or maybe a dash? Maybe a dash. Okay. 
little dash more honey. Okay, here we have it's the last of our apple cider vinegar, and here this is about two two spoonfuls as well. Once you get that in, it's time to mix it. So we mix that all in. But I'm not really that good at this mixing business. I think we need an expert. Okay. You'll notice that it gets pretty thick pretty quickly. Whilst Gabe is mixing, yeah, that's it. Really hard. I'm going to help him out and put some more milk in. And that's going to help us mix it really well. So we put the whole half gallon. What, Dad? Yes, son. Do we do all of the milk? Yes. Ready? Do you want me to try a little bit? Yes. Okay. We take turns. So my arm gets a little bit tired. And of course, we're using a hand mixer here because quite often, if you're living in a motorhome, you don't have the electricity or the access to an electric mixer especially if you are boondocking and not in the campground. Okay, Gabe, I think it's your turn. Good job. Keep mixing until everything is smooth and blended. Now this is nicely mixed. We're ready to go. Light the stove top under our skillet. So this is the concession I make to the American model is using a cast iron skillet. Often in England we'll just use a regular frying pan which is really good for flipping pancakes. This one you have to have forearms like Popeye to flip pancakes on it. But it does cook them really really nicely and evenly. We start with the heat very high so we want the skillet to warm up then we turn the heat down to about halfway. The other thing about using a cast iron skillet, not only do you need forearms like Popeye, you also need asbestos hands. So we don't have those. I'm going to use this to hold the skillet when it needs to be maneuvered and moved. The skillet's nice and hot now, so I'm going to take some butter and pop it on the skillet. And we make sure we get a good covering. Okay. We pour our first pancake in. And we spin it around to make sure the bottom of the skillet is covered. And now we wait until all of the batter that's at the top dries completely and we get all these little holes. And you can just see around the edges that it's starting to get brown. When it's ready, this wooden spatula should fit just underneath. When it's like that, we lift it up and flip it over. So now I think this one might be nearly ready. So we put it over there and we start again. And we'll keep doing this until all of the batter's gone and we have a big stack of pancakes ready to eat. Right, so we're starting to get a nice little stack building up here. And I think it might be time for a snack from the stack. So as you can see, our pancakes are very pliable, just like a crepe. And that means you can fill them full of ingredients and roll them up, it's really good. I'm gonna give this one to my star helper. Thank you. You're welcome.
If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, um, throw us a like and maybe subscribe to our channel. You do that by hitting the subscribe button and the bell next to it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.